There is a lot of talk tonight about a problematic issue inside every American family. It is about teens and drinking. What is the right thing to do when teenagers are drinking under your roof? ABC's Lindsay Janice takes us to a town where police are cracking down on teens and their parents. When the Baltimore Sun published this picture of Maryland's Attorney General Doug Gansler at a party with underage drinking, it struck a nerve for many parents. He told ABC's Jim Avila he was just there to speak with his son. Did you set a good example by going into a party, participating in the party? What's that mean, participate? I'm walking through. But if this Attorney General is having trouble figuring out what the rules are, he's not alone. I understand the position of some parents, but they simply can't allow it to happen. The law is very clear. If you allow underage drinking in your home, even if you don't provide the alcohol, you're looking at criminal sanctions and potential civil lawsuits as well. Two extreme cases this month in this town of Glastonbury, Connecticut, show just how confusing this issue can be. This is the house where the Nixons threw their teenage daughter a party, even handing out flyers to neighbors ahead of time, saying they would be supervising the bash. But when police arrived, they found 100 teens and plenty of drinking. They knew the party was going on. Uh, they knew alcohol was there. Um, they just didn't do anything about it. Even though they say they didn't know about the alcohol, the Nixons were arrested and charged with allowing minors to possess alcohol, a misdemeanor punishable by up to a year in prison. Around the country, most of the parents arrested for this end up paying fines or doing community service. This week, when the parents of two teens arrived home from a vacation to find their daughters throwing a drinking party at their house on this suburban Glastonbury street, they didn't take any chances, calling the cops but ended up getting their own kids arrested. What this is ultimately all about is the high number of accidents on the roads because of young people and alcohol. Nationwide, more than 12,000 are killed every year, including six from this area just last summer. The tragic outcome police and parents are so desperately trying to avoid. Lindsay Janice, ABC News, Glastonbury, Connecticut.